Hi guys, this is Tom on the new channel and I'm going to be giving you some music tutorials and showing off some of my um, music that I've made and it's all going to be mainly done with FL Studio, Free Loop Studio. Doesn't matter if you don't have 10 um, but and I think the best way to start if you're new to FL Studio, which you probably are watching this video is to make a bit of a nice bit of dubstep because it's easy to make, simple, and um, and it you can fit it's very experimental, so you can fiddle around with loads of there, yeah. and it um, it will sound sound quite good. So if you've literally never seen any of this before, well, I, I was going to make a video just showing you each individual thing, but I think that will just take too long. So we're just going to make some dubstep, and I'll show you as you go along. So up here, you want to make sure you, that's the step sequencer, um, which is key. This is the what's it called? The playlist. Yeah, that's also key. That's where you make. These are the two very main things where you make the song. Um, if you don't see this pattern thing, which you may not, if you've just got FL Studio 10, Options, General Settings, Enable Legacy Pattern Blocks, come up with a warning just to say yeah, that's fine. Um, and that brings up this thing which is really really nice to use I think that's what makes for me FL Studio better than all the other music uh, creation software so a lot of people start when they uh, in the tutorials when they're making dubstep with the beat I think I'm gonna start with the bass because yeah that's the main part of it so I might as well make it the first thing um, make it simple you got all your plugin, your channel plugins up here. Let's just do 3x OSC because it's most simple to use. You also get a load of you get a load of presets for that plugin under channel presets and then under 3x OSC, obviously. So I'm actually going to use one of them to make it easier. Let's do Auburn Five. You can see how that sounds. Um, and then you edit the oscillators here. That is too hard. No, that's not the one. That's the one you need to turn off. Give me that lower sound. So that'll do for the sound. You can just edit, you know, got the square wave, saw wave, rounded square, sine wave, um, if you have all three on sign, that gives the that gives kind of a sub bass effect, um, which makes you know makes like the if you have a really big speaker thing that'll make the floor wobble, the floor wobble. Sorry, um, and then to make the whooping effect, which is what you obviously get in dubstep, you want to go. In fact, actually, let's just make a tune first. So you want to right click on your instrument, go to piano roll. Oh yep, on that big double screen, the uh, whole screen even. That brings you <laughs> piano roll. Um, so let's just make a tune. I'll be using the pencil tool at the moment. That's what I use for piano roll when I use a paintbrush tool for this playlist, as you can see. Um, sounds like just press space um, make sure the tempo is up keeps doing that 140 bb gonna make this a bit longer That's good. Um, obviously, it's way too high for the bass, so we're just going to do Control A um, and just drag it down. I wonder what it sounds like even lower. Growly sound from the saw wave as well, um, which is very nice for dubstep. 
So you've got that. This is on pattern one. Let's go back to pattern one. Rename that to face. And if you do control, hold down control shift and do down, let's move it down a bit because I want to put the kick up there. Maybe I should have started the kick, but whatever. We'll just do the bass first. Okay, so that's good. Right click on organ. Sorry, no, just click on organ. Um, click on your instrument even. And we got that again. We go to instrument properties, go to cut, go um, uh, down to the LFO bit. You can choose between these. I think that sounds the nicest, but these sound that sounds good as that sounds really quite good as well. Um, make sure delay is that's you can see what you obviously know what delay is. Make sure that's right down. The attack time is also right down so it doesn't fade it in. Um, and the amount is right up. And then just put, set the speed to 1 so you can hear. Okay, this is the whooping, yeah? Ready. You can hear that very nicely. And then you can also fiddle with these. That, that will make it more gliding until, you, until the point where you can't hear at all. So if you put it down, it's really like... You can really hear the whooping there. And this will make it kind of more... Um, yeah, don't... Don't worry about that too much um, for beginners. And then you want to right click on speed and do create automation clip, which uh, brings you, you may be familiar with this, um, if you're using some Sony stuff, it's called a, it's called an envelope. Um, don't know what else it's called, but yeah, that's this is what this, you can edit, like, um, you can edit volume panning, um, whatever velocity with this thing um, for any different instrument um, but the best thing about FL Studio is you can literally just right click on anything like the master volume create automation clip um, that will bring you um, that will bring you uh, that will bring you that for anything you want um, so let's just paste in the base, don't know why I made that longer it's pretty pointless um, as you know let's just leave it longer uh, have the bass come in twice there. This is how I'm using the pattern thing. Let's go to the okay, so we can hit here. You right click anywhere on here, and then you can you can uh, make a point, and then just use the left click to drag it around and stuff. I'm just gonna zoom in a bit on there. Can see what we're doing better. Make that a bit bigger, so we can hear. Actually, I'm going to do that the other way around. Can I write down? Actually, no, bring that along there. I'm just um, playing around a bit here. You can see the effect it's doing. Bring this up, and actually, I cannot be bothered to um, make that any longer. So, if you right click on the point that we made here, delete that. Cuts it down. And we can just, the, another good thing about FL Studio, that's to copy and paste it. Just click on that if you're using the paintbrush tool and just paste it next to it on the same track. And so. Just made that a little bit so it would be a bit faster in the middle there. Now the bass is not growly enough for me, so you want to go to the this thing that we brought up, change the effects um, to I don't know eight or something, and then just double click on that. Brings up the mixer, and that just uh, put it on eight because that's insert eight, and we can add different plugins to that. Um, now I'm just gonna add blood overdrive and also fast distortion now you can 
just just start with don't bother fiddling the knobs just go to the, use the presets okay so um yeah where was i um we've got our blood overdrive and we've got our fast distortion here um and you just wanna test that out on the different presets. Think this one. selected or shift control C shortcut and then we're just gonna edit this a bit. In fact no what we're gonna do on that one we can do right click edit copy right click edit paste and then when there's through XC make sure they're all signed. That gives us a sub base. But to sound better when you finish your track and um, I'm just going to clone that now and delete that one. Um, yeah, let's just change this. There's a bit of variety in there. No. So, let's say we have three of them, one of them. Copy this across. Oops. Yeah. Miss. There we go. And then you know we just um add some sound effects on here. Uh, actually, I'll leave, I'll leave that till later when we're finishing them all off and stuff. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe for the more for more of them. Thanks. Bye.